Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. Today I'm going to be doing my DIY two-tiered uh, two tray. I'm gonna take yeah. it from my winter decor to my spring summer decor. And we are going to use things that I picked up in my Hobby Lobby haul. So I'm going to be using the kind of coastal vibe of blues, hydrangea blues but I also have some lemon yellows that I want to incorporate in there. I also have uh, some watermelons. I They light up um, and these are from Valerie Park Hill that I just got from QVC, so I'm gonna incorporate that. As you can see, I have started some of my summer decor here. I have faux peaches that I got from Michael's these really cute uh, mason jar vases from michael's as well they're painted really really nicely uh, have a very opaque finish and these bunches of flowers i got from michael's as well and they're all just a bunch together which i thought were very very summery um, so that's kind of how i've started my tablescape and um, <laughs> unfortunately i have not gotten to my two tier tray yet so it's still got uh snowflakes and other wintry vibe to it so um i had done a hobby lobby haul a couple of months ago um to pick up stuff for my spring and summer take I, I literally haven't taken anything out of the bag that i bought from my tier tray you did see it in the haul but i am going to take everything out get it sort of spread out on my table and we'll put the tear tray together. Now some things I have that uh, I've had already that I'm going to incorporate which are these Lily of the Valley um, faux flowers and they are in the sort of galvanized can and I have two galvanized cans that I picked up in my haul and I also have a galvanized watering can that I'm going to use and I also purchased this um beat this bead garland i got this from uh amazon so i do have some of the black and white um so i mean i am going to incorporate this into the as well. tear tray i have a little bit of lamb's ear here that i'm probably going to incorporate somewhere and these are my blue touches of hydrangea these are just some faux flowers and I'm just going to snip them and sort of tuck them into the arrangement the way that I would some kind of cotton or something. And I may put the cotton in as well because that always gives it a little bit of texture. So what I'm going to do, I also had these that I purchased, which are very, very cute. Um, however, these are not, these are more spring, I think. So I don't think I'm going to incorporate these into my tear tray right now. Uh, I think uh, what I'm going to use, um, I do have some, some mugs that are black and white. This is a, um, initial mugs, L and B for Lisa and Bob, me and my husband. So, um, I don't actually use these mugs to drink from cause this one has a little crack in it. So I think I'll use these to put the flowers in like, either my greens or maybe a green and these so what i'm going to do is take everything off of this tier tray and then start arranging i'll bring you in closer so you can just see this and we will um see how it comes out i forgot to uh take these out <laughs> these little watermelons i'm dying to see what they look like they're from valerie Parr hill and she always has some really neat cute stuff and these are, as I thought, these light up. And these take, what do they take? There's three of them. And they take, 
Looks like double A batteries. Let me go get some double A. And these are these have a timer, which is nice. I love a timer because you can just um, leave it and it'll do its thing. So it lights up. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn my light off here. I think you can see that that's lit up. So I think I'm gonna put that on the tray. I don't know if I will put all three on, but um, we will see. It's not, these are really pretty, but the paint is chipping off the bottom of it, which I'm not too happy about. It's really chipping off bad. Well, it's all right. I'm not gonna return them or anything, but um, I think she might have had a problem with these because they did take a while to come. Usually QVC, it comes really fast, your order within the week. But these um, took about three or four weeks before they shipped them out. So maybe she was having trouble with the paint staying on. But I'm gonna keep them because I'm not going to return them, but the paint is definitely chipping off the bottom quite a bit. So, but I think even with that chipped off, they're going to be cute in the tea tray. But they are making a mess right now, but I think once all the paint that's going to come off comes off, they'll be fine. All right, let's get this down and concentrate on the tea tray.
So the only thing I didn't use is this little lantern. So I'll have to find another spot for my lantern. Um, and I'm sure I will. So what I did is I really like how it came out. I love the blue hydrangea sprinkled in with the yellow accents. Love my little yellow bug here. Um, and the watermelon slices actually look really cute in there. I have my, um, my galvanized cans in here. You can see uh, with a little bit of the blue hydrangea mixed in. I used my uh, garland here and my lilies of the valley and my little greens that I've had and I used the uh, galvanized watering can to put one of them and one of them is in the mug on the bottom. I did sprinkle in some of the cotton just because it, if there's a bare spot I just want to fill it with something. The cotton always gives it some nice texture and it really looks like it does belong. So that is my two tier tray for spring and summer. This will be this will be able to be carried in right through summer. We've got the lemons, we've got the um, watermelon, we've got the yellow and blue accents. So I really, really like how it came out. I hope that you do too. If you are interested in another project, I did the same Hobby Lobby haul. I'm gonna link my um, spring and summer bouquet. Uh, video at the end of this video so if you, want you can to... check that out I will show you a close-up of this tea tray which I absolutely Basis. love so yeah. thank you so much for watching this video guys I hope that you have enjoyed it if you're new to my channel I hope that you will consider subscribing I do DIYs and unboxings and right. nail videos I hope that you will hit that like button and I hope that you will come back so thanks again for watching guys take care Bye for now.